steps upstairs are in the bathroom. So we put 37.5mm plasterboard all on this wall and just finished it here. We didn't do the lower panelled section, I didn't want to replace that. Same here with the reveals, airtight tape around everything of the existing double glaze there. And then also did this party wall in case it was a thermal bridge. Into this room, we... I think we put 37 on that wall because it had some holes punched in it. 72 on that, again airtight tape around. Uh, and then 70 on that. We had some spare 70 boards so we also did the ceiling in here. And obviously we did under the floor for the rock wall. 300 mil um, mineral fiber in the loft. Uh, we put the stops around and the gasket around the loft hatch and the window things. It's a bit ugly. It's a little bit Joseph Fritzl, but there's no bodies up there. But it does really work because the EPC guy's just been and he undid that. And, he, and as soon as he did that, all the air in the building <laughs> he just went right up it like a chimney. I was stunned. I was stood beneath and I could just feel. But yeah, it's, it's already warmed up again. Um, then in here, didn't do the ceiling because we wanted to keep this this cove in detail. I mean, you know, it's still part, it doesn't look too ugly or odd because we obviously lined the walls. There's still a bit of it left, but it looks okay. So 70 mil on the party wall here, 70 mil on the external walls. Again, rock around the floor, windows renovated. Again, absolute bastard doing that, but you learn. Uh, secondary glazing, just fantastic. No, no air. It's amazing. It's like, like walking in an old people zone. <laughs> it's just so warm in here. I got the boiler on the lowest possible setting one, um, and that's it. So that you know, this this is probably using bugger all gas now. Uh, and then in here, the walls were rough, so we would have had to cover and board. I know it's a small room anyway, so we put 37 mil, 37 mil, 70 on this wall. That was the mild one with a nice plastering. And then we've obviously the secondary glazing. These windows were really, really shagged, but I've I've done them the best I can. Had to even like that lower style there. I had to completely uh, make a new one of those. Which turned out really well, actually. It's back to the woodwork days at school. Who would have thought that coming handy, eh? What was in tenons? Anyway, and then here is uh, 72, I put 72.5 mil for the sake of it. I thought just whack that up there. Belt and braces. Uh, airtight tape everywhere. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I've probably gone a bit over the top. <laughs> I think it's definitely going to get, it's definitely going to pass a C, I would have thought. Uh, but you know, just got to do it right, and you know, just didn't seem right to fit uh, refurb the windows, fit secondary glazing, and not in, in and not do the reveals in, in insulated plasterboard. But there you go. Thank you for your assistance. Uh, I hope you're happy with it. Please don't be too critical. <laughs>